Hello and welcome back to another episode of Chill in the Building with Spange and I'm going to talk to you today. <laughs> uh, I wanted to give a little bit of an explanation and run through of the texturing and painting that I did in the last episode on the exterior here. Um, the more I build this ship the more the story of it um, becomes apparent to me. Uh, usually when you build a ship you should probably have a story ready made but in this case I had no idea what I was doing and just sort of winging it <laughs> all the way through to be honest. Um, so last episode I applied some textures and paints as you saw and I've gone for the classic sort of red and black colour scheme of the pirate faction because that's pretty much all I know. Uh, <laughs> But, um, you know, I'm, I'm quite happy the way it turned out. It's, uh, it's kind of mean looking, uh, especially like the red glow from the engine, uh, the engine thing in the middle there. What do you call that bit? Component. Let's go with that. Um, so that, that sort of glows red, which is quite cool. And you've got these red stripes all the way through. But one thing you might have noticed that might have raised an eyebrow is what the hell's going on here? All right. So the rest of the ship is sort of pristine metal, shiny, looks sort of new. And then I strap this thing on here and give it a really rough texture with some potholes, some random lettering, it's not painted correctly and things like that. What I wanted to convey with this texturing and painting technique is that that and that were not part of the original ship design. Um, they were extra, they were bolted on, they were scavenged from another ship and is just a pure armour um, module and some extra thrusters that were just bolted on top of the existing hull uh, from from salvaging another ship um, and that basically gives a whole new story to this vessel um, which is something that started out uh, as a much more modest vessel um, it never had these cannons on the side is part of its original design. These were haphazardly strapped to the main hull um, later on. This engine compartment was actually the main part of the ship once upon a time, um, but was stripped for engine parts and cargo, and a whole new cockpit and living quarter section was haphazardly strapped to the side of it and this we have uh, this build so it started life as a single component shuttle the cockpit would have been here um, and it's essentially been ripped to shreds and completely augmented into a whole new ship but it's built of spare parts. It's built of bits and bobs. It's been added to over time. And that's why I added this texture and painting scheme to these parts here, because I wanted to give the impression that these parts are the latest edition of the ship, um, and they've just been bolted onto it, and they haven't quite gone through the uh, painting and texturing, or the, the painting, uh, the, the, ship, the rest of the ship has already gone through so that's why I did that I wanted to give a little bit of character to this ship to indicate that it is the way it is because it's just something a freelancer a scavenger smuggler has made some special modifications himself to this ship so that's that's why I'm that's what I'm doing there just in case you want it but otherwise you know, pretty happy with the way this is turning out so far. Um, what I'm going to do today for the rest of the video is I'm going to go through the interior. I'm, I may revisit the exterior and add some stuff. I'm not entirely happy with all this flat space here that's just blank and empty, but I'm not sure what to do with it yet. So I'm going to leave that and could maybe come back to it later. But otherwise, the rest of the exterior I'm pretty happy with. Um, 
uh, again, there's a bit of sort of just flat empty. I might add some, I don't know, some symbols or something to that to give it a bit of life. But yeah, um, I'm nitpicking basically. At a glance, I think that looks pretty cool. Quite happy with it. So yeah, interior. Um, I'm going to start with the most important room of all, the cockpit. Um, so let's turn this back on. Everything's very dark in here, isn't it? I'm thinking of an interior colour. I'm, I'm thinking of either white or the light grey. I, I kind of like the idea. It's, it's really annoying because I can't quite get it, but I'd really like a colour that was just off-white, dirty white, but the yellow is just too much. The brown, again, it's quite... Maybe, maybe you can get away with a brown, but I mean, that's a lot of brown to coat the inside of a ship with. So I'm either going to go with the light grey or the white. Now the problem with the white is when you start putting lights in here, it becomes insanely bright. So I might just go with the grey. It's kind of boring, but um, you know, I might paint these sections that brown. I think that would work quite well here, maybe. Uh, these are like the uh, passenger seats, obviously. <laughs> The passengers sit. What do you know? <laughs> Who would have thought? Um, color, 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 color for those. I don't know. Whatever. I'll come back to it later. Let's go with that. Oof, that's horrible. Why would I do that? Let's go with the red for now. The brown and the red. They go well together, don't they? Most of this tire, most of just picking colors and picking textures and stuff is trial and error. Just try everything until you find something you like, basically. <laughs> um, but yeah, I want the interior to look almost completely different from the exterior in terms of colour scheme. Um, so that when you come in from outside the ship, you're just like, whoa, what the hell? I thought this was a black and red ship. Not anymore. It's grey or white, depending on your colour blindness. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna paint this whole thing grey, and I'll come back to you when it's done. Okay, so it's pretty much everything that I wanted to paint grey. Um, I'm at the floor because I'm just going to do this to so the floor. Uh, which is a floor like texture. I don't know if that actually makes any difference. No, it doesn't. That's fine. Um, I'm going to be excited painting the walls with the texture. I should stop doing that really. So I haven't, I haven't painted these bits because these are like um, consoles. Oh, I want them to be like consoles, I should say. Um, so texture them. I don't know yet. Yeah, we'll figure it out as we go. But um, these like I like this texture here because it looks like um, looks like a like a hatch. Like you'd open it basically. So I like to add those in because it looks like storage, which is good. We need a bit of storage. Hello, what's going on there? Let's go a bit. I'm gonna get the block behind you. This is uh, very difficult. There we go. Can't do the other one. <laughs> there we go. Right, it's fine. So this is gonna be tricky. How do you make uh, this look like consoles <laughs> without actual console textures? Uh, well, you can't. Add some cabling in that might make it look reasonable. Um, or some, I don't know, just, just play around basically until you figure something out. That's not too bad. It doesn't look like consoles, but it looks like some kind of terminals going, going down. Um, I do like the uh, red one here, which 
which makes it look like circuitry. I'm going to put the green one at the back there. But I'm going to change it from green in a minute. Just do these pillars. So that looks like data transfer or something. Actually, on the floor there, I'm going to put another hatch. Like that. Turn that one around. Put that there. That's pretty okay. But yeah, it's it's just trial and error. Um, the more you use textures, the more you'll get used to them. And Steve. Figure out what kind of works, which kind of doesn't. I'm gonna paint these just. Oh, actually, should I go blue maybe? Do light blue. Yeah, look at that. It's a little less. Ah! Your face. Uh, these pillars are the same as the fuel conduits on the outside of the hull, so I'm gonna change that. Those ones. Oh, damn. No, nope. that one. But blue. Thank you. Um, what I might do is put some LCD screens. Uh, no frame. might steal, because um, there's quite a few people out there that have done keyboard layouts on LCD screens, I wonder if that would look quite good there, or maybe, can I get it cured, can I get it just attached to the control, <laughs> I don't know, I've seen some pictures where this is to actually connect to the whole block. And it's like on one side, so I don't know how they've done that, but I wish I could do that. That'd be awesome. But maybe I just go with that for now. Oh, that's upside down. Is that up the right way? I can't remember now, but I put it up the right way. But yeah, so there's uh, two consoles there. I'll put some stuff on the screens. Off camera. Um, I'm going to do some stuff uh, to this as well. Let me just coat that in that one. Make that look like a terminal or something. Meh. Meh. Don't like that texture. What is that one again? I can't remember. Oh, that's horrible. No! You're not really going to see that, but I still want it to look reasonably okay. Okay, let's go with that. That's cool. Right. Uh, that doesn't look like a terminal at all. Am I using that one again? Eh, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Just do that. So 
this texture here, I quite like this. Although it's upside down at the moment, but it looks like um, some kind of not necessarily access hatch, but definitely some 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 kind of stuff going on behind it. So it's quite like that one. Um, and a, and a cable one behind the LCD screens. Back there as well, so there we go. Um, yeah, uh, it's okay. Ceiling is the only other thing. Leave the ceiling as is, or what I to do. Oh, lights, of course. Lights, lights, lights. So, uh, so we would have a selection of light box for CV for SVs by now, but obviously not. Okay, well let's put a light on the tables. It's not going to be red. It's going to be white. Okay. Ew. Should I do the ceiling? I don't know, I might leave that as is. Not a huge amount, like I said, the only other thing you can do with the ceiling is maybe um, use these sort of glowy blocks. So I might run that one, but then that one's used a lot outside, so. Nicely, maybe if I lighten up a bit, blend in with the rest of the ceiling. There we go. And nice. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll add some stuff on these LCD screens. Um, I might take for this actually. LCD screens, and then I can put all sorts of stuff on them. <laughs> so I'm committing myself to a hell of a lot of work, but <laughs> whatever, it'll be fine. Um, so yeah, I'll have a full sort of full-fledged data display thingy going on here. That'll, that'll be great. I'm not going to do the LCD stuff on camera. <laughs> Up here all day. Uh, uh, that one there, that's a little bit better. There you go. One cockpit. It's not bad. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, a little bit there. A little bit there. Oh, 
I'll show you next episode um, the LCD screens once I've sorted them out, but pretty happy with that. Not bad. As always, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, any uh, suggestions or ideas as well? That would be very welcome. But I think that's all I can do for this episode. Uh, I think if I get stuck into any other parts of this interior, we might be here a lot longer than a normal episode. But anyway. Um, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And hopefully I'll catch you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.